How's it going everyone? Hello everyone and welcome back to Never Never Growing Up. I'm Kelsey. And I'm John. And we are here with a very special video for you. The sun is shining, we have blue skies today. So we thought what more perfect snack to enjoy on a day like today than the Disney Parks Dole Whip. Yeah, so Disney Parks did come out with a recipe a few weeks ago and we've done this before but looking yeah. at the recipe now it's a big difference. Yeah, the Joel Whip making video at home was actually one of our very first ever videos that we <laughs> ever made. Yeah. And I'll leave a little clip of that right here for you. It turned out okay, yeah. I guess, the first time we made it. The texture was a little off. It was. The recipe that we found were from, I believe, the Dole website. So we kind of played around with it to see what would work best. But mm -hmm. now that they came out with this recipe, which is so simple. Yeah. Three ingredients. That's right. So we're just gonna follow the Disney Parks recipe and hopefully you guys can follow along and let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's go. So this super simple three ingredient Disney Dole Whip recipe calls for one scoop of vanilla ice cream, four ounces of pineapple juice, and two cups of frozen pineapple. You'll need a blender and a piping bag to make your Dole Whip. If you need to make a piping bag as we did, here's a little instruction video on how to make one. Just a quick note, the original Disney Parks recipe is dairy free. So if you want to use a dairy free ice cream, you of course can do that. I imagine it will produce pretty much the same result. We just had regular vanilla ice cream in the freezer, so that's what we decided to use today, but either is fine. So now we have everything together. We are simply going to start with adding the pineapple and the pineapple juice to the blender, blending it, adding ice cream, and that's really it. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Let's see. so delicious. Time to blend. Seems to be coming along nicely. Grabbing a little spoon. I'm just gonna push it down a bit. We've still got some full chunks here so hopefully just by pushing it a little bit it will disperse the chunks and then we can get back to blending already this looks and smells amazing still a little bit of pineapple in there like in a chunk form but we're going to add the ice cream and hopefully that will help dilute it a little bit our pre-made scoop of ice cream. Just gonna put that in. This is getting me so excited for summer. <laughs> that looks like Dole Whip. <laughs> Should we give it a taste? Yeah, give it a little taste. That's so good. Yeah. That is really good. You wanna try? Yeah. What do you mm. think? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just really little bits good. in there, but I think that makes it better. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scoop all of our dough whip from the blender and into this little bag. That's gonna go into the freezer just for a little bit so that it can set, freeze up a little bit more, and then we will pipe that and have our dough whip. Wait, no. We've changed to the spoon technique. <laughs> Have our bag. I'm gonna seal that and into the freezer it goes. Now in our freezer we also have 
our glasses. We wanted to chill these and make them nice and cold so we could enjoy our Dole Whip out of them. We're going to keep it in the freezer for 10-15 minutes tops and then we'll come back to pipe it out and enjoy. All right, so 10 to 15 minutes have passed. The reason we did this is because when you're blending, it does tend to melt the ice cream and the frozen pineapple. So it's going to keep it more in place, right? It's perfect. Nice. Leave that there. Before I start piping, I'm going to leave the glass there just to keep it nice and chilled. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna get one side and I'm gonna take a little cut here. Now I made my own custom piping bag with my tip. Hold this in the triangular shape to match. Before I start squeezing, I'm gonna go grab my one glass at a time. So first one. So this is what very nice. I'm gonna do a little squeeze. Wow, that looks pretty legit to me. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. I'm gonna put this in the freezer and prepare the other one. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Ooh, to enjoy. <laughs> okay, now before we take these to our fire escape to enjoy, we wanted to quickly mention a couple of varietals that you could make instead. If your preference is the Dole Whip pineapple float as opposed to the regular Dole Whip, just add a little bit more pineapple juice to your glass and yeah. you have a Dole Whip float. Alternatively, if you're over 21 and want to add a little spice to your Dole Whip, Add a little shot of rum to it. That's yeah. what we like to do. So we made it outside. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. I mean, so what Dole Whip is complete without some blue skies and sunshine? And that's what we've got today. So yes. we're making the most. Are you ready to give this a proper try? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So good. That's so legit. Oh my gosh. So I looked back and the last one we made was the dough recipe and it was good. It had banana and coconut milk in. This is the recipe you want if you want that Disney Dole Whip chase because this is seriously legit. So good. Mm. I like that there's a little bit of tiny little pieces of pineapple still in here. Yeah. And I think it makes it really good. I agree. It's just nice and chunky. That's Not it. Not chunky but there's some pineapple in your mouth. Agreed. And it was so easy. Just a three ingredient Dole Whip mix, chuck it in a blender mm. and enjoy. Yeah, it's crazy how easy that was. Mm -hmm. So give this a try at home if you enjoy Dole Whips as much as we do and let us know how you get on if you try this exact recipe Absolutely. and if it works as well as this one has. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, we'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye.